Hello, everyone. My name is Olga. Uh, welcome to our today's webinar. This time it will be dedicated to the release of the version 7.0. So there are many interesting features in this update, but we decided to focus on the forms. First of all, let me thank you all for coming here today. Uh, let's start by discovering what the forms are and what the forms for. Forms are designed to deal with structured content of the document. Using this feature, you can create a, a document with customized fillable forms to make your work much easier and faster. You can create surveys, polls, questionnaires, and tests for your company. But please note, we will show all the features from on the Office interface. So how can we create form? There are two ways to create forms. The first one is you open the document module. You can uh, click on the Create button, and you will see two options possible. Uh, you can create a form from blank page and from text document. A form created from a blank page does not contain any information, so you create a form from scratch from the very beginning. As for the text from text documents, if it looks like a set standard text, which is supplemented by different fields, please pay attention to the fact that uh, only Office uh, form templates are created in docsf format, while a form itself is seen by its recipient in off form format. Developed by the only Office team, off form is an extension of the well known uh, XML format. And it's exclusively designed for creating fillable forms. You may ask what's the difference between a form template and a form, and the answer is easy. A form template, you can edit the form template. It, of course, you have the right to do so, more on it later. So the main idea, you work on the form template uh, together. So a form template is collaborative. As for a form itself, it's what the final recipient will fill in. Uh, so I open a form, a form template. Uh, what do they see here? Above the work area, we have text field, combo box, drop down list, checkbox, radio button, and image. Let's try to add some. You can try also if you suddenly have an editor opened. So a text field is an area where you can write your text reply. To add a text uh, field, you should click the text field button. For example, here, I will add a text field. And you will see the properties. So you will, you will find uh, an empty box, which is customizable in the right side panel. So for example, if you need the person to fill in their first name, last name, email address, etc. As for drop down list, drop down list is a list uh, with a set of choices. So it allows choosing one of the predefined values from the list. Now we have the drop down list. We have two options, for example, the washing of clothes, the ironing, and you can also add some in the right side panel. Uh, a uh, checkbox is an object. It allows displaying two states. Uh, the checkbox is selected and the checkbox is cleared. So here we have yes or no answers. I add checkbox. And also I add a second checkbox. And you will see two checkboxes. So also you can uh, add uh, a radio button. So it's designed for multiple choices possible and also an image, for example, to help uh, somebody to achieve tests. Uh, if you're already familiar with Adobe Forms, you will find a lot of similar properties too. Uh, in addition to text formatting, to multi-line fields, you will see in the right side the settings. Characters, limits, we have also combo characters, a feature that allows displaying uh, each character in a different uh, in a bit individual cell. Also, you can adjust body color, background color. 
you can mark uh, this form as required, as uh, this field as required. You can delete and lock them. Please have a look at this extraordinary form. One second, it's uh, loading. While I'm opening the document, you can write down in the chat if you already tried to use our, our new forms. So this extraordinary form is now here. Here you have uh, the most uh, important advantage is that each of you is able to create the form in a blink of eye. So it's not only for professionals, but uh, for you too. This is what the forms look like in the edit mode. To put it more simply, it's templates. I will now open it in the fill-in form, fill-in mode. So on the form, you fill your first name, last name, and other data. We have also fields for uh, your second name, for example, if you became a different person since your previous study. And you see uh, the fields which are highlighted in red. It means that uh, these fields are required to be to fill in, filled in. Uh, you can also fill your uh, date of birth, sex, nationality, country of birth, residence, and all other important data. So now you can see from the real example what forms a form template looks like. Um, then the form template is finished. It's a good time to share it with the person who should amend or complete it. You will see the button uh, in the right, uh, in the upper right corner. You click on it, change access rights. And the access rights also differ depending on whether it's a form template or a form, and it makes sense. For a form template, we have five different access levels. Full access, there is no restrictions how to use the form. You can edit, you can move, delete, etc. cetera. Uh, review, uh, it allows users to suggest changes in track mode. So every change can be accepted or rejected. And now I will share this form with my colleague to see how it works. So it's a re review option. I click on it and you will see, you know, where you can accept the change or you can reject it. For example, I reject the change and it's rejected. It's also rejected application form. Uh, as for other access levels, we also have a comment mode. It means that uh, you can comment on the com content of the format. I will now open it uh, in the comment mode. You see, I can't uh, comment something, but I can add comments. So it's pretty easy. As for other access levels, we also have read only. It means that the user can see the form, open it, but it's, uh, he's not allowed to change it, to move or delete it. And as for deny access, the form cannot even be seen by its user. Next, the user you shared the document with will find the form in the shared with me folder. Here I have a form in the form template. Um, so you, you have a pencil if you uh, need to edit it. And you have this button if you have to fill it out. Uh, and as for form, we have four access levels. We will see from, from the interface. Share. I add my colleague. And we have four access levels. Full access, read only, deny access. We already know it. And as we have also a special access level, form filling. Form filling allows users to fill in the fields in the document, download it or save it in a different folder, but uh, in this case, the user will not retain the original document, but it's copy. So you have filled in the form. What next? First of all, you can clear all fields and start it all over again. For example, if you change your mind about filling it or you have another thoughts uh, about this form, uh, you can also print it out uh, in the upper right corner. You will see this button, print. Also, a ready or form can be saved to PDF. So 
you can open them like standard PDF files and fill them out in Adobe Acrobat. Another saving option is Docs, so you can open it in Microsoft uh, Office. What about the form template? What can be done after it's ready? First of all, you can view the form, so you can set up its preview. And you will see the, the fields which are in red, so required, as well already know. Many keys because becomes grayed out, so it will not interfere with its check. You can also save as a form and see the uh, and show choose the, fo uh, the folder you prefer. Let's see, uh, we have my documents folder, chat with me, private room, common, and the project. We have also subfolders. Uh, let's also see what can be done from the interface. We will show it from on the office interface. Um, the form template, you can edit it, preview, save as a form, you can share it, I already mentioned it. Copy external link, link for portal users, send by email. You can see the version history, block for co-offers, my favorite downloads with the load as. Move, copy, create a copy, rename, and of course, delete it if you have enough rights to do so. As for the form itself, we have the same option, except uh, save as a form because it's already saved. And you will see fill in the forms. So under the name of the form, you will see who created it, the date, the time, and how much the file weighs. And you will see also this button if you have to fill in the form or you have just edit the form template. So it was a brief presentation of the only office forms. Uh, share your thoughts in the chat. Uh, you can also ask questions. It will, we'll be glad to answer all the questions. And also, if you would like to discover more functionalities about only office, we would like to offer you our training courses. So you open our page about training courses and you will see our training courses page, our training sec section, and you will see all the bunches av available. So just submit the request. Also, you can find it here, a uh, frequently asked question. Oh, don't hesitate also to ask yourself. We are waiting for some questions, if they have any. So the first question is, is it possible to save form is an editable, editable PDF file? Uh, yes, so uh, you have to save it in a PDF file, but you can uh, fill out only in Adobe. Uh, but in the future update, you will uh, be able to edit it in our only office forms. Is there a way to connect the input fields to some database or values entered only stored within the documents? Uh, for a moment, uh, we're not, uh, no database, but in the future updates, uh, we will have it. So follow the updates, not to miss it. Is there any other questions?
I think there is no questions for a moment. But you can also you can always uh, contact us at supports at onlyoffice.com for any questions, and we will happy to ha uh, help you. And I think it's good time to finish our webinar. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for being with OnlyOffice. I hope uh, you enjoy it. Bye. <laughs>